Hi, this is Jaden with CCTV Security Pros. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up the DMSS app to view your black line or blue line systems from your cell phone or mobile device. Let's get started. Navigate to the main menu, then click Network at the bottom and then P2P. Make sure the status shows online. The text may be faint, but as long as it says online, we're okay. If it does not show this, double check that DHCP is enabled for NIC1 in the network settings and that the cable you are using to connect the NVR to the network is functional. Once the NVR is showing that it's online, leave this screen up for later and we'll switch to the phone. You'll want to install the DMSS app in the App Store or Google Play Store. Open the app once it's done installing, and it will show you a page like this. Swipe from right to left a few times, and then tap the blue button towards the middle of the screen. Tap OK, and it will have you select your region. United States should show up as the recommended region at the top. If it asks to connect to devices on the network, please tap Allow. If you want to make an online account, you can do so here. The benefit to an online account is that once you add the device to one phone, signing in on another phone will automatically transfer your NVR to that new phone. Creating an account has no other advantages, so you can feel free to just skip it, which I will be doing here. Tap on the plus sign at the top right and select Scan QR Code. Allow the app to access the camera, and you can scan the QR code on the monitor that says Device SN. It should be the one on the right. After doing so, tap Next. Here we'll want to choose NVR as our device type. Lastly, name the device whatever you'd prefer and enter the password. When you're finished, tap OK and then tap Completed. You will then see the live view of your cameras. You can have a total of 16 cameras on your phone screen at once. Simply scroll to add any more cameras. You can use the same process to add the NVR to any other phones or mobile devices. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and consider subscribing to catch any guides in the future. Thanks for watching.